Hey guys, it's Drew from Webs Online, and we're going to put together the Tetra Filtration Kit 250. Before we dive into the assembly, let's take a quick look at what's inside the box. So this kit is a all-in-one submersible pump filter fountainhead, perfect for those smaller ponds less than 250 gallons. If this sounds right for you, let's jump right in and put it together. So these are the three fountain heads. You have a bell fountain. You can actually adjust the spray width just by simply rotating that top head. You have a three-tier decorative spray, and this is my favorite. I call this the frothy nozzle. So here is your submersible filter box. You hear some things rattling around. The manufacturer packages the tubing and a few fittings inside, so make sure you look out for those. So you have a coarse and fine filter pad. Go ahead and reassemble those inside. So on this side you have your fitting location and the suction end of the pump here will actually connect via a small section of tubing to find the right fitting. And you'll actually thread that into the box. And this fitting will thread onto the suction of the pump and just attach as such. So when the pump's on, it's going to pull all the water through the top of this filter, through the filter pads. Now in this fitting, you'll thread onto the pump. And then you have your diverter valve, which slides and locks in. It comes with two riser stems, two couplings, so you can actually adjust the height of your fountain head. Coupling on first. Now just keep one for height purposes. And then you have a rotational ball output fitting. This slides on the top. And then your three fountain heads, I'm just gonna throw one on. And this rotational ball, you can actually adjust the angle of your fountain head in case the bottom of your pond is not flat. So you have three. And this is actually a diverter valve assembly. So if you were to run a small piece of statuary or a very, very small uh, waterfall, you can actually use these discharge fittings here. These are barbed. They just thread right on that. And if you did not want to use the fountain head, it actually comes with a small barb fitting that will slide right on this diverter valve assembly. This is a cap. You can actually get a nice bubbling effect or actually just run this to a small piece of statuary. So as you can see, there are a lot of little pieces to this small kit. You're probably not gonna use all of them, uh, so make sure you hold on to the rest because down the line you may end up wanting to use a little small diverter. You may end up wanting to use a different fountain head. Don't lose the pieces, there are a lot here. For more information on this kit or the other two available sizes, feel free to give me a call. My name is Joe from Webs Online.